Hello and hi there. Although an installation of a Java add-on for Bookmap is normally a straightforward process, there still are some questions regarding the installation, update and setup process of add-on like um, TTW Trade Finder is. I will guide you through this short video and will give answers to common questions regarding the installation, update and setup process. By the way, it doesn't matter what bookmap add-on you are adding to bookmap, the installation process follows the same path. Only the customization, of course, of an individual add-on is different. Before you start to add an, ad an indicator to bookmap, you must download it from somewhere. TDW Trade Find downloads and updates will always be on tradefinder.info or tradefinder.fr in the download section. So let's start with a plain chart. Before you download any add-on for bookmap, I recommend to add a separate add-on folder in bookmap directory. The advantage is that bookmap and you will always have the same folder on your PC where to look at. Some of our support requests have been the questions why is it needed to configure an add-on on every bookmap start. Normally, once an add-on is customized, you don't need to do anything at the start again. Problems might rise when the add-on is stored somewhere on the desktop and accidentally deleted or moved. And uh, as you know, everything can and will happen in any given installation. So, the best practice is to keep the bookmap add-ons in one place. Coming to the TTW Trade Finder installation. First of all, go to tradefinder.info or tradefinder.fr. Go to the download section, click on download and you are asked where to store the zipped file. As mentioned before, it is a good idea to have a separate folder in the bookmap directory. Normally bookmap is installed on Windows on the C drive. It is a bit different for bookmap installations on a Mac. In case you follow my advice, download the zip file into the selected directory and unzip it. Finally you will get a file which is a Java jar file. So, that was the installation. Now, how to apply in Bookmap? First, open your chart. Click on Configure Add-ons. Click on Add. Navigate to the folder where the jar file is stored. Select the jar file and finally select module by module until all modules are loaded. The checkbox left to the module is to activate and deactivate a module. However, the checkbox function has another important function which is to reload all data once you uncheck and check it again. Keep that in mind when you open your chart and want to see previous signals. So at this moment everything is up and running. How to update and add on? Simply download and override the previous module. And please stop. When bookmap is running you can't override a module. So we recommend to exit bookmap, download and override the jar file. You know now where you can find your installation and start bookmap again. That's the cleanest and the best way to be sure having the latest release update installed. So how to set up? The Trading to Win team provides so-called bookmap configuration files or BMCS files for most instruments. 
These are XML files which contains all necessary information about a specific chart setting, like other charting programs, uh, NinjaTrader for example. Now the question is how to get them. Every module comes with a version number at the bottom of the module and a link where you can download the latest version and additionally a link where you can download a recommended config configuration file. Keep in mind TTW setup files are a recommendation by the TTW team. You can at any time reconfigure your chart and apply other settings you want to have. When you click on download configuration file, our web page opens and you can select for which instrument you want to apply a configuration file. We will add constantly set up and configurations for the most interesting um, instruments. However, it is not possible to do that for all instruments, futures and stocks as well. We think that's the best way to make it easier for you to get familiar by time with the liquidity and market volume concept of TTW Trade Finder. Now you can type in the search option for example yes and by clicking on copy link a download link is copied into the Windows clipboard. How to apply? So it's really easy. Go to your bookmap chart, right click on the historical chart of your instrument, a sub panel opens. Select load from file, click OK and uh, the Windows Explorer opens. Paste the previous selected link into the file selection of the file explorer and click OK. All pre-configured settings we recommend will be applied on the chart and all data points will be recalculated. So. In general, that's it, uh, how you can maintain your TTW add-ons and change the settings in a second. By click on the right mouse button, the sub-panel gives you the chance to store or inherit your original chart settings to any open chart you might have on your desktop. That's of, uh, really of great help and advantage. You can save at any time your chart configuration, load a new and restore the previous configuration file. Interesting to mention though is what you get for free utilizing our configuration file and TTW Trade Finder for your trading uh, to your bookmap chart. You will get a real dome on your chart, a volume profile and POC, daily levels and institution levels for free, optimized TTW Trade Finder settings for most instruments. Daily levels and institution levels are updated when we are online. They are not updated on holidays, vacations, banking holding and so on. As we say, this is a perfect, clear and concise trading chart setup. Simply trade, don't guess. Ok traders, try the update process. It's easy. Thank you for watching, subscribe to our channel and leave a like. Thank you very much and see you soon.